What's good, YouTube? How y'all doing today? Uh, Xavier the Beast here with another video unboxing stuff today. We got a lot of stuff in the mail, a lot of really good stuff. I'm very excited today. Uh, a whole bunch of packages that I ordered finally came in that I've been waiting on for a couple of weeks due to the COVID crap. We uh, seem to have to wait quite a bit of time on certain stuff and packages, even though they're only coming from a state or two away. Like one of these packages actually just came from Ohio and I live in Indiana. So it's literally right next door and it took two and a half weeks to get, to get this. That's pretty sad. So we're going to be opening up one of these. We have a box of this right here that we picked up for super cheap secrets of eternity. Picked that up today for like 45, 50 bucks. And then here is the big one. We're going to be doing this one last. Do, do, do. Mystery Power Box. Look at that. One rare Metal Raiders graded card. Oh, we're looking forward to that. I'm very, very excited for that. We're going to open that up last. You know, as they say, save the best for last. Uh, so, uh, if you guys are new to the channel, like, comment, subscribe. All that good stuff. If you guys want to buy stuff from me from uh, my eBay, here's my eBay info. KRYLE-7485. Go on there, add me, shoot me a message, tell me what you're looking for, uh, what your friends are looking for, rarities, all that good stuff. I have a lot of stuff. Like, I mean, I have a lot of stuff. I've got I've got Yu-Gi-Oh, I've got Magic the Gathering, I've got Pokemon, uh, you name it, I got it. And I mean, I'm, I'm just getting back into this, you know, so bear with me uh, as we're trying to get all of our uh, subscribers back since our last YouTube channel basically got deleted by YouTube for some reason. Not sure why. Tell your friends, have everybody come, like, comment, subscribe. We need as many viewers as we can get so we can get this up and rolling again. We will be doing giveaways, as I said before. Uh, you know, once we get to... Uh once we get to 100 subscribers, we're going to start doing giveaways like every week. Uh, one of the first things we're going to do, we're going to give away, is uh, we're going to give away here, bam, the Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution game for the Nintendo Switch. Free of charge. Never been played. It does not come with the cards. Does not come with the cards. Uh, I will show you. I did, I did uh, buy three of them so that I could get, you know, I got the play sets of the cards that do come in them so that I can build the deck, which will eventually probably, uh, I'll play it for a little bit, man, maybe. And, uh, then it'll get sold. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be one of the things we're going to be giving away. Uh, we'll be doing, uh, grab bag, stuff like that, all that good stuff. So, you know, we got to get to at least a hundred subscribers before we can do that. We're at like five or six right now. Balls rolling pretty slow right now. So anyways, <clears throat> Without further ado, let's bust open some of these packs. Honestly, I don't even remember what comes in this stuff. It's been so long, so I know these are like really, really old packs. So we're gonna we're gonna see we're gonna see what comes in these. Let's go ahead and move that out. Okay, Raid Raptor stuff. So it's not that old, but it is old enough to where they're still putting a rare in there. We're going to try to do this quickly because we don't want this video to be super, super long. Like, no more than, like, you know, 10 or 15 minutes. Golem. Super heavy samurai stuff. Unizombies. Uh, doggy Diver as the rare. Yeah, we're going to have to start buying some more uh, updated boxes. Uh, I really need to look up when they stopped doing the rare in the box and just... Remember, they started putting, like, a... Not a, stop putting a rare in it. They didn't stop doing that much. They started putting us at least a super rare in every one. So we're going to have to like figure all that out. Like I said, I'm just getting back into this. You know, I'm like a month in maybe or so. If that. I'm about to come off the ban list on the 28th. So I'm about to start competitive play again. If they're doing that anywhere. I'm not really into the remote dueling. I may have to though. Good and evil in the Burning Abyss. I like Burning Abyss cards. Definitely trying to rebuild my uh, PK Fire. It's uh, actually like beating everything right now. It is just wrecking stuff. Hope everybody's having a good Monday so far. Oh, there we go. Infernoid. And... There we go. Uh, 
a lot of decks that we just built. We just got the stuff to build uh, these bad boys. Blue Grape Keepers! That is going to be a very good deck in this format. No, oh, nice. I have the Void. Here we go. A lot of people don't think that it will. I don't really care what anyone else thinks. I think it will because there's a lot of stuff that's very heavily fueled by the graveyard. So I think that the Gravekeeper's deck is going to be a, a deck to contend with this format. We'll just have to wait and see. But we pretty much got everything. I've played I've played uh, Gravekeepers on and off. Oh my goodness. Since way back in the day. Like back before... You know, they just had some new stuff come out not too long ago, apparently. And uh, I've been playing Gravekeeper since before, you know, the old, the old new stuff came out. Like, like this is like the new stuff. Like, this guy's new. The Spiritualist. Headman. Those are new. But I mean, like, uh, before, like, Tombs and, and uh, Descendant and stuff came out, you know. I was playing before those cards came out playing this deck. And it was good back then. But it got even better once that stuff came out. And now that they got all this shit out, oh my god, this it's really good. Especially with like the Solemn Brigade and all those being at three. It's wow. It's gonna be fun to play it. I'm looking forward to it. Ah, another Olympic. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, it's not worth much, but it's very, very pretty. Loving that. Ulti rare. Metaphys horse. Love that. Very beautiful card. I won't run it, but I'll stick it in a binder and I'll admire it. <laughs> I'll use it as trade fodder for somebody else that wants to, you know, maybe possibly use it or trade for it or buy it. It's probably worth two or three dollars, maybe five bucks. Oh, there we go. There's another super heavy samurai. That deck was good for a brief moment because no one expected it and it just kind of whooped ass for a month or so, but not for very long. Now it's kind of a thing of the past. I don't think anybody runs that anymore. Ooh, ba -doo -ba -doo. Dragon Browser. Raid Raptors are a thing still. We'll maybe putting that back together depending on what all I had out of this and stuff. I ran it before. It, eh, it wasn't very competitive, but they've come out with new stuff. Another one of those. A Cagna. Really hoping to hit some of the good stuff. Like maybe hit like Dante or something. If it came, I'm thinking Dante came in this set. I'm sure it did. Lightning Rod Lord is the super. That video is going to be a little bit longer than I had anticipated, but that is okay. Bear with me. You a playmaker. Ooh, look at that purchasing there. Nice little secret rare. It's probably not worth much, but pretty to look at. Tim Knight. Eh. So far, it's not, not a bad box so far. Gotten some decent stuff. Especially for the price. I mean, you know, like 45 50 bucks for a box. Another Limic. And they had a couple more, too. Like, I bought these at a card shack. And I think I had like two or three more. I might go over and see if they'll throw me a deal. Like, hey, if I buy these other ones, will you give them to me for like ten dollars cheaper per box? And like, you know, instead of fifty bucks a box, give it. Which is like, yeah, I think it was fifty bucks. So I give it to me for like forty or forty-five a box if I buy the other ones. Since I'm sure no one else will. They've been sitting there forever. 
Dance Princess. So we'll go through all these other commons and see if there's anything decent in there. It's not always about the, the foils, guys. You know, a lot of a lot of commons put in a lot of good work too, man. So, you know, a lot of people don't think that about that void launch. Some people are all about the foils, like, oh, I don't run commons. Well, oh, sometimes commons are your best bet, and sometimes it's the only bet. Not all cards are foil. Tenacity of the Monarchs. There are like Monarchs. I'm almost done with this box. We've got like, it's like three or four more packs. Before we move on to this tin. Void expansion. Nothing special in that. Do UA blocker back. Nothing special. Hopefully, there's something really good in this last pack. Let's hope. Let's hope. A secret rare, maybe. Let's see. Here we go. Nope. Just another super. That's okay, though. 